Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for October 10th to 16th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Also, the Eye of Zen is up on Amazon.com, and the link is in the description box below. That's the deck that we'll be using here today, okay? And we are also going to be working with the Morgan Greer deck and the old style Lenormand. All right, my darlings. Uh, personal readings are closed at this time for me, but I do have a free reading contest. So stick with me till the end for all those details. So let's jump right in. All right. So let's move to cameras here. All right. What's going to have my Taurus's romantic love life for October 10th to 16th? Taurus's romantic love life, October 10th to 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So we're going to talk about the day to day, your love interest feelings, the blocks, delays and challenges and then the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. And also feel free to cross watch. You can check your moon, your rising and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. Okay, so remember this is going to be for October 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, okay? So we can see the first day here on October 10th. It seems like it's going to be a day of, you wanna be careful about because some arguments and fights, the sense of competition here, some challenges or changes here. It seems like there could be multiple people involved in this situation. So let's get more information about what's happening here and why that's happening on that day, okay? All right, Taurus's romantic love life, October 10th to 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So bear card, someone wants to assert some kind of control or they, 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 they're trying to, uh, they feel like there's a lack of control or strength or courage around the situation. We see that the next day here on the 11th is a very giving day, a very charitable day. Uh, it's a sense of balance around it. For some of you, it may not be a very equal give and take here. It's like maybe you feel like there's not an equal amount of time, you know. Uh, so let's see what that's about. Mm, what it comes with a a friend, someone who's being friendly with you, or there's a lack of give and take when it comes to loyalty. Okay. We see here on the uh, 12th that there is going to be something that's really going to fulfill your wishes here. Okay. Your desires here with this nine of cups energy. Let's see what that's about. Okay. It's going to be a romantic day for you guys with the moon card energy. So we can go forward here. So there's an argument or fight about things that need to be brought into balance, but then you, give, you fulfill your desires because you fight for what you wanted here or this person does, because remember, it could be reversed. It could be the person we're talking about here for you. Okay, it could be your love interest. So take it how it resonates. We see that there's gonna be some strength or courage for a loyalty or someone's gonna want to want things done in a very structured way or someone gains that strength or courage because they want some sense of loyalty here and romance. Okay, so romantic desires fulfilled. Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna shuffle this deck now. Taurus is romantic love life for October 10th to 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, yes, there's argument and fighting about a commitment, engagement or marriage. We see you're focused on, I want to be happy here. I want, I want to bring things into balance when it comes to this loyalty. Yes, and things are going to align in your favor when it comes to fulfillment of your desires here. Yes, luck is on your side. You've hit the jackpot here. Things are going to align in your favor. So we see on this day here, the 13th, it's like someone feels like they're going to miss an opportunity with the Four of Cups energy, okay? And it could be because of some kind of knowledge or trying to gain knowledge about, okay, will they accept this offer? Because I don't know. I need to gain knowledge about this. Mm -hmm. And it has to do with people, all right? Going out, socializing. Or it could be for some of you, there could be quite a few offers coming in, or you may be aware of these offers, okay? On this day of the 13th. So we see on the next day here, there's some indecisions going on with you guys. You guys are kind of going back and forth, like, what do I do? I'm not sure which way to go here with this when it comes to a commitment, engagement, or marriage. Okay, so you're trying to make a choice about that. 
And so you're gonna give yourself some time to kind of isolate yourself and separate yourself to really think about this deeply. And then we see the next day here, there seems to be some sort of regrets about looking back at the past and seeing what was lost. And the Sun card tells me that you're focused on what's gonna make you happy, but you do have big luck here with the Sun card energy. But you're still at this crossroads about what to do here, how to reveal this indecision. So it seems like the day of the 16th, you guys are like, all right, I'm gonna be patient for things to come into balance when it comes to stuck energy or when it comes to stability and stableness because I don't wanna have regrets about this. Okay, so let's sum this all up here, okay? There is something to do with a commitment, engagement, or marriage, or not wanting to repeat the same patterns. But I feel like in your case, it's something to do with an actual commitment here, okay? Or uh, engagement or marriage. And we see that you're focused on your happiness here. It's something that really makes you really happy and love. And there are things aligning your favor. Some of you guys really have a couple of different choices here with the socializing card, or you may be leaning on other people for support here about what to do, okay? Because the socializing card could be family or friends giving you some kind of support. So it looks like you just take your time to kind of look at things and isolate yourself to kind of examine this because you're at a crossroads and there's concerns about having regrets. Okay, so, so you've got some choices to make this week. And it looks like about a commitment to engage your marriage. It looks like there's a lot of people that may be fighting for your attention this week, okay? Because we have the strength, courage, loyalty, and romance, gaining knowledge about a commitment, engage your marriage, and something that really makes you happy when it comes to stability and stableness with that anchor card energy. So definitely for some of you, this th there could be a few choices when it comes to marriage and long-term commitment here coming up this week, okay, for you guys. We're gonna also get more clarity when we look at the overall outcome at the end here. So stick with me till the end. Okay, so this arguments and fights are competition for things to be brought into balance. You fulfill your desires here. There's so many opportunities coming to you or someone feels like they're gonna miss an opportunity. You're indecisive about this and there's so much regret about what happened to you before. You're like, I need to be patient here for things to come into balance. or you're concerned about being regretful about this, this decision. So you're just like, I need to be patient here. I need to bring things into balance first. Okay, so let's look at your love interest feelings. We have the Hermit card energy. We have the Six of Swords energy. We have the Nine of Swords energy. So it looks like this person has really thought about you deeply, okay? They may feel like there's even a spiritual connection. This person wants to overcome the challenges with you with the Six of Swords energy, but they have worry and anxiety. And also in this card, I see this person's like, almost like their hands are tied when it comes to the situation, or they're worried about their hands being tied in the situation. Um, but they'd like to see the light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to you. This person has, is feeling like, I need to take the time to really examine things because of this hurt and pain with the whip card energy and this lack of flexibility with the snake card energy. Going further on this, this person has strong chemistry and passion for you, which also could be the whip card there. And they want things to heal between you and them. That also plays to the six of swords energy, healing, recovery, and love. On the same token, this person's like, I feel like you know, Taurus is the best decision for me. They're the wisest decision for me. From my past experiences, you know, Taurus is the one for me. Um, and I just want things to heal with us because I have so much chemistry and passion for them, so, so much strong desire, but I'm worried about this stuck energy here. And, you know, I, I'm just gonna give myself some time to really think about things. Okay. So let's see what your block Chilean challenge is here, Taurus. So the block Chilean challenge is seems to be you're still overcoming some hurt and pain here with Ten of Swords. It still hasn't come to a completion yet. Yeah, and it's it, you're not trying to make any abrupt decisions because of some unhealthy things pertaining to the past. Yeah, coffin card energy. It's like the 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 block Chilean challenge is something to do with an ending, stopping, or completing, or just taking a break here, which is part of your block Chilean challenge this week. So let's see now what's going on with your overall outcome here. Wow, we got the Empress card energy. So there's love, there's abundance, there's friendship, there's joy, there's going out and someone who wants to fight for this. And for some of you, since we see the Three of Cups energy, you have more than one choice or option for some of you. Or this person could be a friend, okay? Because we did see the Doll card energy. There is love 
and there's abundance, there's this nurturing supportive energy, this want to start this potential family here, okay, and wanting to fight for this. We see a person card coming out and this sense of confusion because a decision needs to be made. Because we saw for this week, you guys have to make some kind of choice about this. There's this person that's missing you, yep. And they have uncertainty where they stand with you. They're confused about it, okay? And they don't know how to be honest with you about this or they feel like maybe you're being deceptive or you're not telling the truth about um, this, this sense of not wanting to make an abrupt decision and they want to fight for this. They want, they, want, they want to get resolving this. They want some kind of resolve. There we got the hopeful energy. They're trying to be hopeful of a positive outcome here. And obviously we know that things are moving in your favor. But I feel like the decision, the hesitation in the decision is because you're defensive about getting hurt here with the nine of a nine of wands energy coming out. So I feel like for some of you, you have a couple of different choices to make because there's a lot of people trying to fight for your attention here and they want to fight for this. They want you to make a decision, but you're confused about it because the reason why is because you don't want to get hurt and you're defensive about getting hurt because of things that happened to you in the past. So and I feel like a lot of you either either this is a friend or you have more than one choice or option and so or you guys are leaning on a friend for support to kind of help you figure out what to do here in making this choice and it's to do with commitment, engagement, or marriage or to start of a family with the Empress card there. All right, my beautiful Tauruses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. The next reading that will be out is who is your soulmate connection? We can also do another singles reads if you like for the next six months. You guys let me know in the comments below what you want or a suggestion for me. Uh, also, the readings that are up and available right now. The next two weeks is up and available right now. So it's gonna get an assessment of your love connection and what's gonna happen for the next two weeks. And then we also have who ghosted you. So if you're interested in why they ghosted you, that reading's up and available for you guys to watch. And as well as the monthlies, which is love, career and finance, and health and wellness. So all those can be found in the playlist. For the free reading contest, all you guys have to do is put twin flames in the comments below, picking two people for a free personal reading. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you guys soon.